Welcome to our tech support video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Fabric.io. Our viewer Sven has run into an issue with their Android application. They've recently changed the package ID of their existing app, which is already integrated with Fabric for Crashlytics. However, despite their efforts, the new app isn't appearing in the Fabric dashboard. Sven has checked the device log and found no apparent issues. So, what could be causing this visibility problem? Let's dive in and explore some possible solutions together. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video. Cheers. First, let's understand the issue. You've changed the package ID of your existing Android application, but the new app isn't appearing in the Fabric dashboard. One common reason for this is that Fabric requires the new package ID to be registered properly. Ensure that you've added the new package ID in your Fabric account. Next, confirm that the new app is correctly configured in your Android project. Check your build.gradle file to ensure the application ID matches the new package ID. Finally, if everything seems correct, try to clean and rebuild your project. Sometimes, cache data can prevent the new app from appearing in the dashboard. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If your new app isn't showing up in the Fabric dashboard, try manually specifying the package name. This prevents Fabric from using the old package name automatically. To implement this, use the following code snippet in your app setup. For more detailed guidance, check out the full post linked in the description. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To resolve the issue of your app not showing up in the Fabric dashboard, first ensure all dependencies are included in the gradle.build and the manifest file. Then, trigger a force runtime error on your device while connected to the internet. Don't forget to initialize Fabric with the code Fabric with this new Crashlytics app. If the problem persists, try downloading and installing the Fabric for Android plugin in Android Studio, then restart the IDE to see the Fabric icon. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. A user faced an issue where their app didn't appear on the Fabric.io dashboard, despite Crashlytics being active. They noticed a successful report upload in the logs, but were redirected to the tutorial instead. After performing a build clean and restarting Android Studio, they rebuilt and ran the app on their phone. This resolved the issue and the app was finally recognized on the dashboard.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your new app isn't showing up in the Fabric dashboard, here's a solution. First, after adding a new flavor, make sure to update the Firebase console by adding the new app to your existing project and updating the Google Services.json file. Next, if the app still doesn't appear, link the new app in the Crashlytics section of the Firebase console. Also, ensure that you have the owner role for the Firebase project. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.